never thought in my life that we would ever ha be having quintuplets and you know just followed that journey and here we are and i know you guys get this question all the time but any chance that you would ever try again for a boy i mean we can't i had a hysterectomy yeah. <laughs> or adopt i know that you said maybe maybe down the line you'd be open to adoption maybe we we've definitely voiced that in the past for sure i mean like we that's something that will I mean, we'll fully, we'll never close the door completely on that. I mean, we'll always be open-minded about that. Just that's um, something God puts on our heart, and it's something we get called and led to do. We would, you know, we follow that journey. I mean, here we are. Come here, Riley. Come here, Abby. Um, you know, never thought in my life that we would ever ha be having quintuplets, and you know, just followed that journey, and here we are. So yeah. you can really now start telling the different personalities. So would you say that they all have are completely different personalities? Pretty close to it, yeah. 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 For sure. We got Riley, you know, that was right here just dancing in front of the camera and talking to you. And to Parker, Parker's a little bit more shy. And Hazel, Hazel is just like the free spirit and just down for whatever and just like her head's always in the clouds. And Ava and Olivia, yeah, I mean, they're too. they're pretty they're pretty similar. Yeah, uh, they're, they're both goofballs. they're both pretty goofy and like they to like laugh to dance. And make and dance. So they don't they don't really take JoJo anything her. seriously. You gonna take a picture of her? I mean, like, <laughs> like our little mom. What did you, what, how did you guys handle if any of the kids got sick during quarantine? Like, were you able to go to the doctors and things like that, or you know? I mean, thankfully, no one um got sick or anything um we uh, i think my, one of my fears was please no one break anything hurt yourself because we don't want to have to put y'all in a situation where we have to go to any kind of medical or hospital um just with you know the virus spreading and going around um but thankfully we didn't have any kind of like stuffy noses or need any kind of medicine or any any aspect so we did good being locked down at home <laughs> good good and how's hazel doing Lots of band-aids, but you know, Hazel, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> yeah, when you, she, they were playing out in the backyard and they broke, they snapped her glasses in half. Oh no. <laughs> I got her new glasses back. And, um, but yeah, I mean, like we, we kind of cover you know, Hazel's journey with her eyes a little bit this season. And, um, you know, we're still, there's still a lot of unknowns uh, with um, like what our next steps are going to be. But, um, you know, I feel like we, we're starting to narrow in on uh, possible next steps with her, but uh, there's still a lot we just don't know quite yeah. yet. Definitely. And how are you guys making time or is there ever any time for each other? Well, it's been interesting because, you know, we've, um, for years, we've always made a point to try and have our own date night every Friday or Saturday where one night's family night, one night's date night, because we've learned over the years that we have to get out of the house to be able to like, like have time together. Cause you just get easily distracted. Even if you try to do like date night at home and sure. And that's basically what it's turned into is that like, we have to like go outside and like have a glass of wine or like, hey, we're gonna watch a movie. It's like gone backwards a little bit to where it was in the very beginning of like, even when we came here to Blake, like what our date nights used to be, movie night, like every Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a balance of like how to, how to have us time, how to have you time and then, because you're always surrounded and you can't, you know, you can't have that escape anywhere. And so trying to find outlets here, like, when can you have a break? When can you go here? When can you work? When can you have like, you know, marriage time? And so it's been hard and it's been hard because there's no, you know. There's no break. There's, there's no, no break. Yeah. Um, I mean, luckily like this past week, I mean, we finally, uh, this past week was been, has been the very first time that we've actually had a babysitter back in the last like two and a half months. Mm -hmm. and so since Texas has eased up on like restrictions and like restaurants are starting to open and in a limited capacity and stuff, um, Danielle and I actually went on a date for the first time and, you know, actually out weird. of the house, it was you know, weird. to a restaurant in like two and a half, three months. 
And so, yeah, it was really weird. And it was, you know, obviously just because things are so different right now. Um, you know, it's not like completely back to normal, but, you know, it's a blessing. I mean, we were able to kind of at least somewhat have, you know, our old routine back. Even sure. though it must have felt great, right? <laughs> the kids, that's what's funny is that we were leaving and the kids go, get out of here. Y'all had too much time with us. And I sort of bust out loud. I'm like, hey, I'm glad to. <laughs> You're like, the feeling is mutual.